please give a warm round of applause to a woman who's going to say what she means and mean what she says, my girlfriend, Glenda Hatches. I want us to be generous in our time and in our treasures and how we support each other because that is how we ultimately leave the legacy. That if we invest in each other and then we invest in generations, then if we help raise up a woman, her children are going to be stronger. Their children are going to be stronger, stronger, stronger for generations yet born in a way that our giving lives on long after we do. So we've got to be passionate. Live on purpose and be true to yourselves. You've got to find purpose and you've got to embrace it with passion because you are here at this place, at this point in the history of the universe by divine design. And we're talking about education this morning because it is so important. I believe that education is what levels the playing field in this country. And then we have got to keep our young people in school, 3,015 to be exact, will get arrested every day somewhere in America. From where I sit, a child is particularly important because a child who drops out of high school is three and a half times more likely to have a criminal record than a child who finishes seven times more likely to be dependent sometimes in their lifetime on welfare and seven times more likely to then have a child who will then drop out of school. We have got to stop this epidemic. That's what it is. There is no limit on your dream. And you could be anything in the world that you wanted to be. What is it that you would do in your life? Psychology. President. Reason science. Nobody said I want to be a pimp or a drug dealer. Nobody said I did not want to contribute something. Everybody had a dream. There's a dream with your name on it. So what we need is for you to dream big dreams because the world needs your gifts. It was beautiful.